Hello people, welcome back to my channel. Got a treat in store for you today. I'll tell you more after we just roll those titles. Well, what have we got in store for you? We are road testing four phone mounts for your motorcycle. We've got an Amazon cheapie all the way from China, but we have got Oxford's brand new clicker. They were kind enough to donate one for me to review for you. Who else have we got? We have got Quadlock and the ever popular SP Connects. So I'm just going to uh, head up into the Sussex Towns. I'm going to give these units a bit of a road test, one by one. And let's see what I think. Well, what do we have up first? We are trying, all the way from China, a £8.99 cheapie. All the way from Amazon, bought myself. But you've got to try these things. That would just generate slots into there like so. Just turn it around. I've already fitted the bracket, which is just basically, it's like a elasticated belt. Just sticks onto two protruding prongs and it takes seconds to fit a bit flimsy I'm not convinced let's give it a go it'll serve a job I think at least but let's give it a quick run down the road see how wobbly it is it's it's functional does what it needs but I would be concerned over time that uh, that rubber could ping off at any time but I do like the way you can rotate it with these oh do I want heated gloves on? no nope. I'll tell you where this would be ideal on my wife's exercise bike but uh, for my bike I don't think so let's see if you keep buying these it'll only take a couple of them before you need to look at the next option I've got in store we started to show you this one this is uh, Oxford's clicker the only problem with the rubber bones just this bit just pinches it would have been better for the nut to be screwed into there I can see why they've done it but it's a bit of a faff just tighten that up it takes seconds literally but because it's rubber it takes that uh, vibration away which I don't think you would encounter many issues with self adhesive backing that is ultra strong I tried to peel it off earlier and I still can't so some people will be cautious with this the sales material shows it actually going on the back of the phone would have been better on the website to show it being stuck to a phone cover now I like this because it just slides in there just clicks in couldn't be any easier than that just push the button on the outer side and it just comes off the bit I like about it is that it also does landscape, landscape portrait. Oxford products, very, very nice. Not bad for 25 quid. Actually, I think this one's near on 30 quid. Would have liked that to point straight up or have an option where we could actually revert the other way. So I am a little stuck with this because it's getting in the way of my arm or my mirror. Personally, I prefer it in portrait. Kalamoto looks better in portrait than that anyway. But there's plenty of flex in there. If you're concerned about the adhesive, I've been assured it will take wind strengths of over 100 miles an hour. I can't pull that off. I'm trying to look. Oh, well, let's give it a go. There we are, using the clicker. I have to excuse the shape of my uh, handlebars. But that is its limitation, is that you can't sort of shape it into the kind of positions that you want to get it into. It's almost forwards, backwards, and you're just fixed with. That's it. The advantage is though, you can have it instantly into either landscape or portrait. And I think when you're working with any, any mounts like this, they need to be um, adaptable so you can have landscape and portrait on the go. Um, the tab on this is quite uh, it's like a mini brick so there is a good chance that it will sort of like snag as you put it into your pocket so I haven't tried it but you know it, for the money 
which for this is about 29.99 i would feel reasonably confident in keeping this on my bike i probably wouldn't choose it for any particular long journeys or if i'm touring all the time but if you're certainly you know one two five five hundred rider who goes up does his business around the town and just would like to access the music and things like that, i think this will be absolutely perfect for you I like it, but I also like the way it just flexes. Look, I'm just hitting it quite hard. Hitting it hard and it's not coming away. In fact, it's... That's moving around. Liking that. Just can't adjust it specifically to how I would like. But yeah, I'm impressed. The positives, I can choose my own phone cover. And we'll put the next one on. Next to my armory is SP Connect. Again, just something that takes seconds to fit, but we need three or four screws for this. I like the fact that the screws are at the front. Certainly a little bit more tidier, and you can arrange this however you like to suit you. It also comes with its own case. But this bit here actually moves. This remains static. It's this bit that, that moves. There we go. Easy. And then to take off. The problem with this one is to go land. You can't do landscape. Well, you can, but it just means that you've got to undo the screw, rotate that 90 degrees. So you've got to take a an alarm key with you, and that's not the only thing you need to take with you. And I'll show you a second. If this turns and then gets stuck, you're stuck. <laughs> you can't be able to mount it on the phone. That's why they give you this. So you put it on there and then you can correct the position. So if it's in an incorrect position like there, you cannot mount that onto that spindle. So you need to use this key to then reset it. You see, just turn and it can't engage, you turn, now you have these spindles to engage. That doesn't provide me with confidence. What happens if you lose that? All right, so I've got the SP Connect on. Certainly, this unit has got the uh, anti-vibration module attached which is something I'll probably recommend if you've got a phone which is a worth a grand or two just to iron out those vibrations because some motorcycle engines are not compatible with the stabilization you get with the phones it can destroy them it's not just quad lock it can affect other mounts too but unlike the other ones, this is using aircraft grade aluminium which has been CNC'd. The good thing about this is that you can actually mount it and position it how you like. For this purpose I've just left it as is, it's just a, a road test review and I'll probably like to do a little bit more tweaking to get it sitting right. I would be confident in using SP Connect if I'm touring and not having to worry about stabilised issues with the phone's camera. It's also at the pricey end of the market. I mean, you're talking like 80, 90 quid, and then plus a further 25 pounds or so for the uh, anti-vibration module. So you're looking around about 100 quid plus. Now, obviously there are plenty of accessories that are available with some of these devices. So, you know, as for like, you know, mirror mounts, specialized handlebars, you will probably find on a BMW RT is there are um, nuts, bolts and fixings available for those particular models with the SP Connect. So you can actually bolt straight into the handlebar. Really good, really convenient. I'll throw up a picture of a friend's motorcycle with one installed. What do we have next? The quad lock. Got a tab to release, mount and locks, locks. And then we've also got the vibration dampener, which is 
which I've only just received a couple of days ago. So looking forward to sort of, uh, testing this on my bike because some people did have concerns that the quad locks mounting device affects stabilization on certain cameras, which they claimed only affects about 1% of their customers. Um, I'm a strong believer that it's the engine's um, vibration which isn't compatible with the phones. We are putting phones in an environment they weren't designed for. Good on Quadlock for coming out with a solution. So we can position that exactly how we need. It's got grooved teeth, so there's no chance of it sliding around. And we've got three bungs which absorb the, the vibrations. Good sturdy phone case. Um, a little bit tough to get on and off, but it is a nice tight fit. The quad lock I do like is there's no moving mechanism as you do with the SP Connect. It's just a lock and fit. Can have a bit of difficulty put it on, but I found that if you locate one of the teeth and then it will just turn and lock, and that is it. Easy. The one thing I like about quad lock is release the teeth and then you can rotate it 90 degrees. So landscape and portrait while on the move. It's also slightly cheaper than SP Connect at around about £55. There's a tab at the back there, you can see the and vibration module working there and we just literally rotate in any position you want to go in fact you can go upside down and it just locks and it's a nice solid lock I've looked at a lot of uh, phone mounts for motorcycles and the choice can be a little bit you don't know what you're going to get until you've got it and I think there is with some mounts uh, an acceptance that it just does the job while you don't want to be paying nearly about 100 quid or so for a, for a phone mount I do think that the quality, the design, the aesthetics, while it's on the bike, it's practicality, it's versatility you'll only get with those mounts which are the upper end of that 70, 80, 90 quid mark. While the cheaper ones do do a job, and I must admit, I was impressed with Oxford's uh, clicker, that there's a place and a position for all of them. The Amazon cheapie from China, get rid of that, that's not worth it. I'm just concerned that the rubber will just disintegrate over time, and it'll just snap and that's it, your phone's gone. The clicker, I think would be absolutely perfect for round town, localised, riding on your bikes, commuting. It does the job, it does it really well. 90 degrees, I mean what more do you want? The downside to that is when you get home, if you don't like the tab on the back, you've just got to take the phone out of the case and put it into another case. So you'll probably be walking around with two cases. Uh, SP Connect do like SP Connect, don't get me wrong, the versatility of like shaping it and putting it into a position that you like is absolutely fantastic, but for the price it's just a little bit too much, especially when you can't do portrait or landscape while on the move. So quad lock, what do we like about quad lock? Price point, it's a really good unit for the price, quality parts, it's got a spring-loaded uh, mechanism, so you know it's locked into position. And the clever bit about it is that you could actually lock it in landscape and portrait positions. So which one would I plunge for? Any day of the week, I'm afraid. It has to be quad lock. But now I have got a vibration dampener, I'm a lot happier. If you enjoyed this video, do like. It would be greatly appreciated. If you like what we're doing and want to see more, do subscribe and hit that notification bell. It would be fantastic to have you along. Go on, hit that button. Anyway, that's me for this video. Thanks very much indeed for watching, and we'll catch you next time.